Hey, what is going on, little boss? Three Minute Android, yo, hit spec reactions. Now I'm creates, clean casher, what is going on, EDM station, lasting number, DJ Tech Tech, what is going on, beer charger, a lot of people rolling in here today, I uh, wanted to, you know, come in on a little bit of a different day to, uh, you know, touch base to you guys, I'm going a little bit later today as well, and uh, right now, give me just a second here, I'm just making sure that everything is coming through okay, and then I'll get this stupid live stream thumb off. <laughs> All right, so it seems like everything is going through. Okay. So today we are going to do... What is going on, guys? Today we are going to do a subscriber Q&A live stream as well as review some of your channels. A lot of people request this. A lot of people ask for me to review their channels. So this live stream, I'm doing a base Q&A and I'm also going to be uh, reviewing a nice handful of channels. So uh, that's what's going on today. And we are starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another live stream. And this is your first time here. And you want to learn how to grow your channel and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff. Start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. With that out of the way, we are getting ready to do a live subscriber Q&A as well as do some channel reviews because that's something that I get all the time. Nick, review my channel. Nick, review my channel. Nick, review my channel. So we are, we're in it today. That's what is, uh, that's what's going on today. Let me get some of your chats up on the screen here to make sure that uh, everybody has their voice. Marcel Jan, that's awesome. Thanks for the uh, for the feedback. Gord, Gord Eisman in the house. What is going on, Gord? Nice to see you in here. American Culture English School, nice to see you. Lil Boss, what is going on? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just going to start randomly picking here. Let's get this chat going real quick, guys. Before I do any channel reviews at all, let me do a let me do a, a like check here real quick because I know we've got like 100 people in here. So before I start doing the channel reviews, uh, and the Q&As. Let's get this puppy up to, uh, I don't know, there's 100 people in here. Let's get it up to at least 50 likes. That would be pretty cool. I would appreciate that if we could get up to 50. Now, nah, let's go with 60. 60 likes. Maybe share this on social media if you need to in order to get these likes up so that, uh, so that we can go in here and start doing some. Hey, what is going on, Mina, the universe guru in the house, the culinator? What is going on? Lego the Creator, what is happening? Inappropriate K-pop mom, nice to see you in here. Three Minute Android, hello. Okay, we just jumped up to 53, so we are just going to get right into it. Okay, so the first one we are going to do, let's just pick Three Minute Android. That's gonna be the first one. And I'm gonna go to their channel. Gonna make sure that it's family friendly and all of that good stuff, and then I will pull it up on the screen for you guys to see. Three Minute Android has no content. Hold on, let me, let me let me show you guys how this works out. Hold on, uh, let's see here. That's funny. Huh, that's interesting. What about this? Okay, so we will pull this up and pull it up here, voila. And I will take the chat off so that we can see what is going on there. And this is 3-Minute Android saying to do mine. So just as a quick note here, 3-Minute Android said, hey, do mine. I did yours, and this is what I see. I don't see any content at all on your channel. So there, so there isn't much that, uh, that I can do on, on yours there. So since I don't see any content, there's nothing really, uh, you know, I can't, I can't really take it that far, right? So let's see here. Let's go back into the chat here so that I can start pulling these from the chat. Real quick, guys, I just want, I'm just going to scroll through here and give some shout-outs. It's nice seeing you guys in here. Uh, Chef Mike Moses, nice to see you. Larry Snow, what is going on? Larry, you know, we're going to go ahead and just go to Larry Snow. Yeah, guys, make sure that you're giving this video a thumbs up. If you, if you uh, have a Twitter account, which I know a lot of you do, um, if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and share this video um, on Twitter as well so we can get some more people in here because here's the thing, right? As I do these channel reviews, people are going to see the channels that are, that are popping up on the screen. So, you know, if we, uh, 
you know, if we can get a nice amount of people in here, then and your channel gets picked, then you know, there's probably going to be a decent amount of people that uh, that actually see your channel page, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see here. I got Larry open. Let me get him loaded up here. Okay, now we are going into LarrySnow.me, online marketing solutions, social media, WordPress, and web design. First off, Larry, I want to say that um, saying that you do online marketing uh, solutions front and center, social media, WordPress, and web design is fantastic. Um, even though your design here is basic, it, it totally gets to the point. You don't need to do anything extra there because you're saying exactly the type of content that you're offering to people right here, right off the bat without, you know, without even having to think about it, which is fantastic. Um, you're obviously also using this to get uh, traffic to your website and you also have your website site link here in your header, which is also fantastic with links to your other social media as well. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to you also because you're in the social media web design WordPress space and the marketing space, which is cool. You know what, Larry, for some reason, man, I'm thinking, did I see you on Eileen? Did I see you on Eileen's uh, chat? You know what? I, th I think I did. I think I saw you in Eileen's chat. You look familiar there. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. We are going to go through some of the social media how-tos, WordPress. You got your reviews. You have your playlist all listed out here. You have descriptions for them. Um, one thing that I would uh, that I would recommend is you have like social media how to's here, but I would also fill that out for the sake of, you know, just having it more keyword rich. So like with, with playlists, this is good for letting people know on your, on your channel page, what it's about, but with playlists, they can also rank as well. So it's good to, um, go ahead and, and fill these out just like you would do a video description, not as long as a video description. Um, but, um, it's important that you make your descriptions keyword rich as well, as well. Go ahead and say, you know, what it is that you're doing. So it's easily consumed here on your channel page as well. But, um, in addition to that, um, I would definitely, you know, fill that out so that um, so that it can help you rank those playlists and search too. It gives you one more chance for people to discover your content. Um, got everything going down here. Yeah, even yeah, even with the fun stuff, right? I would even fill those out if I were you. But okay, these right here, these are all recognizable as yours. Okay, so this is one thing, Larry. That I that I always talk about with people, and in every single every single time I do uh, channel reviews, I, this is something that I always point out: is if somebody's watching um, your content and they're into your content, this is where this is really powerful. If they're into your content and they come to your channel page, it's important that, or not not when they come to your channel page. I'm sorry, but if they're into your content and they watch one of your videos, it's important that if your thumbnail shows up in the sidebar or if your thumbnail shows up at the um, end screen or if your thumbnails get pushed out to users home pages or their recommended videos or something like that it's really important that you put some type of branding on your thumbnail so that people can identify your content because if youtube is putting your content in front of people that are already subscribed to you or that have already watched your videos maybe they haven't subscribed yet but they, you know, maybe they liked your stuff, but they just didn't subscribe for whatever reason. And, and YouTube's putting your stuff in front of them. You want people to be able to recognize your stuff as yours at a glance and then come in and be able to consume your videos. So be it in the sidebar, be it on their homepage, be it in the recommended videos, be it in their email when they send out the emails, whatever. You want every single one of your thumbnails to have something on them. The more the more uniform everything is, the better. But you, at the very least, want your thumbnails to have something on them that connects your content um, to you. And those are some tips there for Larry. Now we're going to go on to another one and let's see what we can do. Oh, hey, we had a super chat come in. Let's see here. Hello, Nick. Please review True Nightmares. My logo has a creepy girl with a book. What else do we have here? The Crazy Family Show. If you have a moment to remove, review me, thank you. Scrolling up here. Wouldn't mind a channel review. More coffee. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, so I'm going to hop into the chat here real quick. I'm just going to, you know, give some give some shout outs because, 
you know, as when these live streams go live, you know, a lot of people, uh, I see a lot of, you know, the same faces or the same usernames in here. So I just want to go through and give some, uh, some shout outs really quick. Maxine CD. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's see here. Lego, the creator. What is going on? Nice to have you in here. Striver. What is going on? Ricky for you. You say that you are an Indian fan. Hey, just as a side note, I'm considering, because I have a visa thing coming up, and I'm considering actually going to the YouTube space in Mumbai. So uh, for the Indian fans that happen to be watching, I might actually be in India here uh, at the beginning of this coming, or at the beginning of next month. Uh, let's see here. Maybe. It depends on how it all goes. Let's check out. Albert Fuller, what is going on? Nice to see you. The Stacy Squad, nice to see you. Intrepid Don, nice to have you in here. Uh, let's see here. Peter's Tom, how are you? Larry Snow, good stuff. Thanks very much. My pleasure, man. Glad you uh, glad you found it helpful. Yeah, and and guys, if because I'm gonna I'm just gonna be going through you know going through the names and because you know people are giving super chats, so I'm gonna do some super chats. I'm gonna do some non super chats as well. Um, so you know make sure that you're sticking around because you know I might pick you as well um, while we are going through this now. Basically, how this is going to work, of course, is the Super Chats, um, they're probably going to get a little bit more on screen time as far as, you know, it's going to go a little bit more in depth. The other, you know, for the for the people that don't give the Super Chats, you know, you guys, I understand people, you know, some people don't have the money to spend or some people just don't want to or whatever, but you still need help. So I'm going to come and I'm going to give you some tips on things that you can do with your channels as well. So in this particular stream, because I'm going to start doing these on a regular basis now. So in this particular stream, if I don't get to you, this just make sure that you have the bell notification icon checked so that um, so that maybe I'll get to you next time. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. OK, so Liz Adkins, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. You're also in here often. Sneakerhead Vlogs, what is going on? 64 bit gamer. Nice to see you in here um, as well. This is fantastic. A lot of familiar, a lot of familiar faces. OK, so. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go super chat, non super chat, super chat, non super chat, unless there's a lot of super chats to where it's going to end up backing me up for for, you know, a period of time. Then in that case, I'll have to, you know, change that. But here we go. OK, so let me open up a channel page here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good thing I brought some water here with me. Let me do a check here to make sure this is family friendly, which it is. Oh, nice. Now, let me get this window capture up. Yeah, guys, so make sure that if you have a Twitter, if you have Facebook, whatever it is, that you are sharing this live stream in Facebook groups for YouTubers and, you know, maybe Reddit for Reddit subreddits for YouTubers or whatever to get some people in here, get a chance to, you know, look at their channels, get some screen time uh, with their channels, maybe get some of their YouTube questions asked. YNS Food, nice to see you in here. Another, another Bangkok or another Thailand folk uh in here that's fantastic nice to see you okay so here we are going on to this one zaggy dk fantastic looking header of course um with a, a remember to subscribe here kind of you know pointing that down here to the right which is fantastic for that reminder um front and center new gaming videos every week the logo looks awesome channel header in general looks fantastic of course um Thumbnails, you got the frames on there. You have your text where everything matches up, which is also a plus, a good thing in the right direction. Now, on the downside of that, one thing that you are not doing is you're not keeping that consistent. So if you look here, like on this one, I would in this one, I would definitely sync all of that stuff up. And I see that you are starting to use the thumbnail frame, which is which is excellent. Um, I would also incorporate that across everything on your channel. If you because you're you're if you're uploading a lot, then uh, what I would do is I would at least say, okay, well, from this point forward, I'm going to start doing it. And then as I get time, then I'm going to go back through and I'm going to start doing it um, here in the back. And real quick, guys, if you were just coming into the live stream, uh, my name is Nick. I'm doing channel reviews to where basically I'm pulling channels up on screen. And I'm just giving tips and advice. to help make your channel more subscribable or, you know, get more views and things like that. So um, if your channel comes up here, then it's going to be awesome. If it doesn't, like I said, just make sure that you, ha that you hit the bell notification icon if you're a subscriber so that you can be notified when I'm doing these because I'm going to start doing this type of live stream every single month, just so you guys know. 
Okay, so in addition to that, I've reviewed your channel before, so you've it looks like you've made some changes. You have your descriptions in here. Same thing that I was telling Larry. You know, you want to, like you're making your description here for the people that are looking at your channel page, which is okay, but you also want to add more to it and make it, you know, keyword rich because these playlists can rank um, inside of search. Not all of them do, not all of them will, but some of them will and they can rank inside of church or, or inside of search, which increases your, um, your discoverability inside of search, which is great. Same thing here, you know, you're missing the description here completely. So I would definitely add to that. You have your playlist, uh, just general playlist list down here. That is good. Okay, let's go to your about page. Okay, for here, I would also fill this out more and say more, you know, the type of games that you play and things like that, because what happens is when you search for something inside of YouTube, right here, let me actually, uh, I'm gonna do a change here real quick. Well, you know, I'll just do it here. When, when you search for something inside of YouTube, we'll go to Larry's channel here and search for it here, um, something just like this. Okay, we'll do that, see what comes up. Yeah, this is a horrible example. But let's see here. That's all the same. That's all the same. Okay, when you hover over a username, if you see right down here under the bottom, right, you have your subscribe button and you have how many people from your circles are subscribed, which is interesting because I'm. I'm connected with this person here. Um, but you also see a description, right? Where it says, like in this one says, I'm extremely grateful for every single one of you who watches and shares my videos. So in this situation, for people that do use this feature where they hover over your name, they're pulling this, this information that's right here in the bottom that I'm talking about, all this information, right? Whoa, let's see if I can pull it up again. Yeah, all of this information right here, they're pulling that from this, right? So it's important that you that you optimize this for that so that when people are doing the hover on any of your stuff then they see that um you know it's optimized for them it tells them what your channel is about so that if they're into your type of content they know to um, click on you and watch your videos all right Okay, so that is number two. Now we are going to go into another one here, and I'm going to pick someone randomly out of the chat, and we are going to um, review a channel randomly out of the chat. So if you are in the chat, okay, well, you know, I hate to do it, my man, but I'm not feeling these. Okay, so now I'm going to pull somebody uh, randomly out of the chat here. So if you want a channel review, go ahead and, and, and leave a comment right now saying me or, you know, something like that. Do mine. Check me, bro. Yeah, go ahead and leave that comment. Let's get this puppy moving. Um, let's see here. Okay, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right, looking good. Not you. <laughs> nice. Okay, we are going to go with this one. I just picked one here. And now I am going to make sure that it's family friendly. All right. Okay, so next one up on the screen. Let's make sure, let's see here. I need a new window capture because that one is not pulling from the right one. Yeah, guys, if you are just coming in here and you are just, whoa, you are just coming in, you are just, let me mute him real quick. There we go. Yeah, if you're just coming into the chat, basically what we're doing today is we are doing subscriber um, Q&As and we are doing channel reviews to where basically I'm just looking at channels, giving some tips on things that you uh, may be able to do in order to, there we go, in order to, uh, you know, get more clicks in to make your channel more subscribable, maybe to get discovered and, and search a little bit easier or something like that. So the next one here on the list 
is Jerry Overdose. So let me make sure that that transition just took place, and it did. Okay, so Jerry, let's see. First impression, Overdose, I try to be funny. Two videos per week when I can. Okay, one thing that I highly recommend to people is how you have the two videos uh, per week when I can. Like, if you can't commit to it, that's fine, and I understand. But I wouldn't add when I can. I would just say, you know, two videos per week or... Yeah, I would definitely say two videos per week or, you know, however often you can upload. If it's once a week, if it's two videos per week, whatever. But I would take off the when I can because for me, as somebody that, you know, that likes consistent content from the creators that I enjoy, when I – if I if I saw your videos and I went to your channel page and it says, you know, two videos per week when I can, that basically tells me that I can't count on you making new content for me. So for me, that that is a negative as far as me wanting to um, in order to subscribe. And also here, you do say that you try to be funny, um, which means that you are making, you know, some type of like, uh, you know, comedy stuff. It says here that you're a vlogger. So, you know, it's, it, it shows that you're a vlogger as well. Um, and thanks for having me in your related channels if you put that there. And thanks for liking my video, by the way. Um, but you have here, remember to subscribe to catch my next episode um, for that one. Instead of saying to catch your next episode, you might want to say, you know, remember to subscribe um, or for more uh, entertaining content or to, you know, to, to laugh more or something like that, um, then, you know, subscribe or something like that. Basically, you want to frame it around the, the benefit that you're going to be giving the person that's watching your videos instead of saying, remember to, remember to subscribe to catch my next episode. The reason for that is you have to consider when somebody lands on your channel page, they may have been referred to someone to come to your channel page. They may have, uh, they may have seen the very beginning of one of your videos and then clicked in to check out your, you know, to check out what's going on with your channel page, right? So, um, they're not familiar. You just want to consider that they're not familiar possibly with the type of content that you provide. So you want to make it very clear up here, why does they sub they should subscribe? Because to catch your next episode isn't enough, right? Because for the people that are not familiar with you that you're trying to get to subscribe, it's really important that you make it extremely clear to them why they should uh, subscribe to your channel. Another thing that I would do is I would definitely add, let me check your videos here to make sure you have, uh, yeah, you have a lot of videos. So I, another thing that I would do is I would um, I would change your, your channel layout and let me hit pause on here to where you're actually showing more of your content here. So it's good that you have your playlists here, but I would also have a bunch of playlists. I would basically just do horizontal versions of all of these so that people can scroll down your channel page and they can see a lot of the other content um, that you provide on your channel because that's really important because you want them to be able to scroll down and say, oh, okay, well, he does, you know, uh, he has a bunch of content or he does, you know, uh, a bunch of these types of videos and that's the kind of stuff I'm into or, you know, you want them to be able to see a video that they might want to click on, click on it and then uh, go in and watch more of your content. Same thing that that I told uh, Zaggy DK, you definitely want to add uh, more to this and talk more about what it is that you offer the viewer. Um, in your case, because you have that you do crazy stuff, subscribe to me, catch my next vid because I have no idea what I'm doing for day to day. So here again, I would try to frame that around, you know, I make entertaining videos, you know, two times per week to help you escape from, you know, from your boring day to day or, you know, something like that. And of course, um, just like I, you know, just like I mentioned, like with you, you're putting your face on these, which is good because the people that watch your content, you know, they they can recognize you that way. But the ones to where you don't have your face, um, I would I would definitely put your face on there, or I would add another type of graphic element to where people can associate your content, um, you know, and basically know that it is your, you know, they just know that it's your stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna hop in the chat real quick, see what people are talking about, see what you guys are saying. Okay, <clears throat> Chiba Gaming, JP in the house. What is going on, my man? Nice to see you in here. Adams GoPro Productions, dude. What is going on? Uh, let's see here. Please review my channel. I do daily gaming videos, never miss a day. Says Chicken Gaming. I like your avatar, Chicken Gaming. That's a pretty cool avatar, by the way. 
Uh, let's see here. And just got, uh, I think I just got Rickrolled in the comment. That's interesting. Okay, let's see here. Just started YouTube, review my channel. Critical Steve says, me, me, me. Missed you, Nick. Third brother, missed you too. Yeah, so normally I do these live streams on Saturday, and I am uh, just kind of playing with times a little bit just to see, you know, where I can, you know, where I can accommodate the most. So, you know, I'm, I'm messing with it right now. Uh, this is a Sunday night, my time. So I'm messing with it now to, uh, you know, to see uh, if this is a good time for me to go live in, in, in comparison to um, Saturday. So now I'm going to go, because we're going back and forth. We're going from the Super Chats and uh, into the non-Super Chats. So next up on the list is Crazy Family Show. Let me go ahead and copy this out. Cool header, Canadians. I have some Canadian friends, some Canadian clients, so that is cool to see Canadian, crazy Canadian family. <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me pull you up on the screen here real quick. Okay. Yeah, if you are just joining the chat, just so you know what's going on, if you are just joining the chat, we are doing channel reviews. And we are doing subscriber Q and A's. So first, we are going through some channel reviews, which I have a feeling that we're not going to get too far into the Q and A's because of the channel reviews. But we are going for it anyway. Okay. So now, next, next on our list, next on our list, ladies and gentlemen, is the crazy family show. Hey, good quality video there. Good quality, uh, good quality intro. I like that. I mean, good like optical quality. You know, it looks good. Okay, the Crazy Family Show, Canada's favorite family. Okay, so for this one, um, I'm not really sure what type of content that you make. Um, like your your header says that you're Canada's favorite family. Um, it says the Crazy Family Show, but that doesn't really say anything to me personally. Um, if you're doing vlogs, which it looks like that's what you might be doing, um, then I would say, um, the crazy family show, and then maybe put something outrageous on there. Like the crazy family show, the world's, uh, greatest family vlog or, you know, something like that. So that it's clear the type of, uh, content that you're making at a glance in your, uh, in your channel header. But I love the tunes. That looks good. The, the red color definitely grabs your attention, pulls you right there. So another thing that I'm going to do, actually, I can't do it because I have to click that and then you see that. So I won't do that. Okay. Um, so here we have old crazy dad channel vlogs. So I see from your thumbnails here that you're doing vertical vlogs, portrait style vlogs. Personally, I would also change that to horizontal. If I, if I, <laughs> I'm going to go off the screen here just for a second so that I can, so that I can stress this. Um, when when I go to a YouTube channel and I see a vertical a vertical video, I'm out of there. Like, uh, it, it's just a personal thing with me. I, it just, you know, I like a screen to be filled up. I, like, I understand if you're on Snapchat, if you're doing Instagram stories and things like that because they're made that way. But personally, um, if I, if I were to land on your channel... I would have bailed, dude, Adams Go Pro Productions. I would have, uh, I would have bailed just as soon as I saw those uh, vertical videos. It's kind of splitting hairs, not really a huge ordeal, but for me personally, that's something that I'm just not a fan of. But I'm going to go into your video library here. And I'm going to see how big of a library Okay, so your face is on a lot of these, so it's pretty easy to recognize that um, that this is your content, uh, but on some of them, it's not. And, you know, let me take this a step further here and, ex and, and explain this. Um, okay, so let's say we go here to losing a friend, and if you just recently lost a friend, I am sorry to hear that. Let me hit this pause button. Okay, so if I go... To, oh, by the way, guys, this is the video lytics thing from TubeBuddy over here on the right-hand side. Um, so if you guys have TubeBuddy installed, um, this is going to be coming out soon. 
So if you don't have this installed already, they had a beta that they put out. Um, but if you don't have this already, it's going to be coming out soon, but it's pretty awesome. But, okay, here, right, how these are easily recognizable as yours because your face is in there. Um, let's see here. This, not so much. This, not so much. This, not so much. You know what I mean? Like, you want people, when they come to your, to your, uh, to your video... And well done, you own the entire sidebar. Nice job on owning the entire sidebar there. But basically when people come to your, um, when they come to your channel page, or I mean when they come to your video page, or if, you're, if your content gets served out to them on a home page or something like that, um, or it comes up in a recommended sidebar elsewhere on someone else's videos, a recommendation for somebody that has, um, you know, that's watched one of your videos, then you want them to, to be able to identify your content as yours so that you can take them a click further into your content. You can get more, more watch time. You up your chances of creating an additional fan or subscriber, um, you know, and creating additional engagement um, on your channel. And more importantly, just keeping the, the user on the platform longer and, and especially in your content, which is, you know, which is even a, a bigger bonus. So that's, that's a really important part of, of, your thumbnail strategy and how you're putting your thumbnails together is making sure that people can identify what is your content, no matter where they see it on YouTube. So even if they're watching somebody else's video and YouTube uh, puts you in the sidebar and recommends that you are, you know, that you are, uh, that, that they watch your video, you want them to see your thumbnail because they're going to see your title. They're going to see your name if they look at your name, but at a glance, you want to make it obvious. Basically, here's the thing, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the window off for this one. Here's the thing for for thumbnails, right? Um, you have your you have your thumbnail graphic, you have your title, and you have your channel name, right? And you have your view count. Um, your thumbnail is the biggest thing on YouTube for a reason because it gets the most attention. Then your title, right? Because that's the second most important thing, and then your channel name. So basically. Of course, if people see your channel name and, they, and they're into your content, then you're going to win them there. But if, if they're going by default, thumbnail, title, and then channel name, then they had to go two visual steps in order to actually get to your channel name to recognize that as your content if you don't make it obvious in your, in your thumbnail. So it's really, 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 I can't stress it enough. It's really, 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 and I'll say really a few more times, really, 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 really important that that you have your content easily identifiable so that no matter where somebody sees it on the platform, their homepage, the end of someone else's video, in your own sidebar, someone else's sidebar, whatever, that they can that they can know that it's your content so they can click on it and and consume more of it. It's extremely it's extremely important and I can't stress it enough. Okay, now we are going to go into the chat real quick just to say what's up to some people, give some shout outs. If you are just coming into this live stream and you are not familiar with me. My name is Nick. Um, I'm a YouTuber. Hi, guys. My name is Nick. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. My name is Nick. I'm a YouTuber. I make videos, make content that help YouTubers grow their channels, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff. So if you want to grow your channel, make videos, and learn all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start right now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any live streams like this when I do channel reviews, when I do the subscriber Q&As, and other things to answer your YouTube uh, questions. Okay, so let's see here. And I see some super chats have come in, so you guys um, are popping up on the list here. Okay, so the last one that I just did was a random one, I believe. Let me go into my super chat and see. And guys, also, if you have not yet, make sure that you share this stream. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Just so that I know you're just so that I know you're digging the information. IPWN cake, what is going on? Liz Atkins, Pixie Dust. Is Brian G. Johnson in the house? Are you saying Pixie Dust because Brian's in the house? Am I not seeing Brian in here? Okay, so now, Crazy Family Show, thank you very much for reviewing my channel. It means a lot. My pleasure. I hope you found some of that information useful. You know, of course, I could go a lot deeper, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, keeping everything moving here, um, I'm going to move on to the next one. So let's go into... 
and again, um, I just want to say the crazy family show. I just want to say that um, since you have lost a friend recently, that I am sorry for that news. Okay, next one on the oh the the crazy family show is actually a super chat. So that means, guys, that I'm going to pull this next one from the from the live chat. So if you guys are wanting a review, then go ahead and just let it let it roll. Let me know that that's what you're wanting. Let me get some review me, some review me, review me, just so I know what's going on. Razman's reality, what is going on, man? Okay, so the next one's coming up is a free one. So if you want to get a channel review, you want to get your, your channel up on the screen here, then uh, go ahead and make sure that you drop it right here in the chat so that I know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Look at this. Woo, it's moving. All right, that's what I like to see. Okay, let's see here. So I'm pulling a channel up right now. Keep it moving because if there's something not family friendly on here, or there's no content on here, then I'll move to another channel. But, uh, okay. All right, we're going to roll with this one. Okay, so the next one here, let me get everything set up for the transition. And I also have another one that is uh, that is queued and ready to go as well. Okay, let's turn this one off. Guys, if you are just coming into the chat, uh, my name is Nick. I make videos that help YouTubers grow their channels and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff. So if you want to learn that, then make sure to hit the subscribe button right now. Okay, there we go. Make sure that came up on the right screen. And here we go, Liz Adkins. Here we go, Liz. Okay, first, um, this is, you know, the same thing, very common. Um, you have Liz, uh, Liz Adkins, new videos every week. Um, but again, you don't say what type of videos that you make. I have to actually explore and try to figure out what's going on in your channel. And you want to make it as easy as humanly possible for people to, to, for people to know what's going on. So in this case, you can do this ex extremely easy. You have Liz Adkins new videos every week. So if you are doing story time, entertainment, so whatever type of content that you're making, then you can do like new story time videos every week, new entertaining videos every week, new vlogs every week. Um, if you are doing variety type stuff, you know, I think I've looked at yours before. If, if I haven't looked at yours on a, on a, uh, on a live stream before, I know that I've looked at yours, um, just from, you know, comments and stuff like that, but I've been, I've been here before. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm even subscribed to you already. Okay. So, but yeah, with you, how you are in the thumbnails, that's great. Um, but it, since you're doing more variety type content, you know, you have two obvious, obviously different categories here. Um, you could also just say, over, say over here in the right hand section, or maybe on top of your Liz Adkins logo or something like that, say the specific types of content that you make so that it's as easy to see as your Liz Adkins or as your new videos every week. And one thing, just from a design perspective too, um, I would make this pop a little bit more because it, it's, it's kind of, um, you can see it. I mean, you know, you do see it at a glance, but I would, I would try to make this a brighter color or make it contrast off of the background just a little bit more. Um, the same thing with, uh, when you put the actual video topics that you cover, um, up here or somewhere on your channel header, I would just make it the where, um, that information pops just a little bit more. So it's just, easy, you know, just so it's easier to see. Same thing here, um, with your story time thing, you want to make sure that your playlist descriptions are fully filled out. Um, just because, you know, playlists can rank inside of search. So it's important that you, that you do what you can to increase those chances. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to your about page. Okay, same thing here, Liz. I'm not sure if you were if you were here on the one where I where I showed the hover, and I'm actually going to um, go into that here real quick. And Chiba, yeah, you just saw yourself up on the screen. You you're in this list. Um, let's see here. Um, great games. 
Okay, so when people search, just so that I can clarify this for people that are just coming into the stream right now, um, if people search for your name on or, or for anything on YouTube and your channel pops up, right? Like your content pops up and they hover over your name. And if they are not subscribed to you, then they see something like this, right? And what this is, this basically has your channel header on there, which is also, which also says why it's extremely important that you, um, that you make all of your stuff easy to identify here as far as, you know, the type of content that you make. But if you go down here and you look at them, they have 263,000 subscribers, right? And they say here, what to play brings you the latest gaming updates in the world of gaming. We bring you the best games of all time and the worst titles ever released on various whatever. But basically what this is doing is this gives a summary of the type of content that you make. And that, that description right there on hover is actually pulled from here. So you want to use, you basically want to optimize this for that hover, if that makes any sense. Okay, so... Let me go in here, 13 videos, seven videos. Okay, you don't have a ton of videos yet, so I won't get into the whole playlist thing and all of that, but um, what I do recommend, though, is you you have more content here than it, it, than it shows in your, on your, sorry, on your channel page. So I would add a few more playlists on here because they can scroll, right, to see more of your content, but again, you want all this stuff to be consumable at a glance, right? So they're like, oh, okay, so I can just scroll down real quick and see all of this content that they have without having to really like do a lot of extra stuff. So that's one thing that I'd recommend is just putting a little bit, a, a few more playlists on here to showcase a little bit more of the content that you are offering to people. All righty, so now we are back on here and the next one is going to be a super chat. A super chat review, but before we get into that, I'm just going to hop in the comments here real quick, see if anybody has any questions about what I just told Liz to see, you know, what is going on with everybody. Snapbit, what is going on? Gameaholic Andy, Logo the Creator. My YouTube app on my tablet just crashed. That's not cool. Third brother, Nick Nimmin, I'm just about to hit 200 subs and I'm growing a nice community and would like a quick channel review. Hey, congratulations, third brother, on your progress. That is fantastic. Okay, so this next one here, Frida Frugal, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Crimson Morgan, nice to see you as well. Let's see here, Chiba Gaming, JP, yeah, Chiba, I actually have you in the queue here. So, so I'm going to be going over yours here in a little bit. Um, let's see here. And just as a side note, if you're using a ton of icons to try to grab attention, that is the worst way to qualify for a channel review. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Do you do a channel? Stoked on your tips and tricks, says Catsum's Art. Thank you. Vigard in the house from Nerdy Explorer. What is going on? Quinn in the clouds. Nice to see you. Mike Swag Vlog, nice to see you. Sky High Beats, what is going on? Yeah, this is great, man. I love seeing familiar faces in here. This is, uh, it's always exciting for me when I see familiar faces. If you're just coming into the stream, um, basically we're doing channel reviews and answering, uh, answering some questions here. So if you're just coming in and you want your channel reviewed, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you can. And if you're sharing it on Twitter, make sure that you at me, at Nick Nimmin. Um, but basically how this is working out is I'm going from a free channel review and then a super chat channel review and then a free channel review and a super chat channel review. So everybody in this chat has a chance to get their, their channel pulled up on the screen and to get some advice, um, on things that they can do to, you know, make their channels more subscribable for the people that land on them, or maybe some tips that, you know, of some things that they may be, um, overlooking. So let me get another let me get another one queued up here, and I hope everybody out there is doing well. Give give a give a let me know what time zones you guys are in, like where are you guys where are you guys uh, coming in from? Oops. Yeah, let me know let me know what time it is where you are right now. For me, it's ten fifteen p.m. 
Okay. We got Liz. Let me check my notifications here on Twitter to see if anybody's sharing this also. All right, that's what I like to see. Good, good, good. Thank you guys. For everybody that's sharing this, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so now we are going to, let me go back to this window here. And let me find the right screen. Okay, so next up on our list is Kiara Kiwi. Kiara, um, I've been on your channel before and the same exact thing. Like here in your channel header, I have no idea what type of content it is that you are making. Um, so you want to make it as clear as possible the type of content it is that you are that you are uh, providing. Same thing with your... You know, do you even have any videos? Yeah, you bet. You also want to make sure that you verify your channel um, so that you can get your navigation going here so that you can put your own um, playlists in here instead of all the YouTube default stuff. Yeah, that is definitely uh, something that you want to do. So yeah, there's not much there's not much advice I can give you on your channel just because it's not laid out properly yet, so I can't actually get into your content. But yeah, you know, make sure that you verify your channel. That's step one. And make sure that you update your channel R2 to let people know what type of content it is that you provide on your, on your channel. So guys, if you have not given this video a thumbs up yet, make sure that you go ahead and do that right now. She was a super chat, and I want to just go ahead and say thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, and since she was a super chat, that means that we are going into another free one. So... If you want a channel review, go ahead and shout it out in the comments just because I don't want to pull it off of uh, off of somebody that's left. You know, I want to make sure that I pull it from somebody that's still in here. So go ahead and, and uh, drop it in the comments here. Let me know if we are, if you are interested in a channel review. And I am going to free to frugal. My pleasure. Thanks for being you as well. I, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull one out here. So make sure that you are dropping in the comment section here that you are interested in a channel review because this is a free one and then after this one we are going into back into a super chat uh review so keep it rolling guys let's see here i'm going to randomly pick somebody here let's see yeah the chat is going bonkers for sure that's awesome yeah keep it keep it rolling guys keep it rolling let's see here Oh, yeah, this is great. This is great. Okay, I'm, I'm pulling up a channel right now, and I'm, I'm testing to make sure that it's family-friendly and to see what we got here. Make sure that they actually have some videos. Okay, here we go. Here is the next one. Let me pull up the window. Okay, the next one here on the list is the Lego Creator. And the Lego Creator, it looks like makes videos about Legos of some kind. So that is kind of obvious here, even though you don't have it specifically in your header, it is obvious you know, that you are doing Lego stuff. Um, one thing that I highly recommend is that you verify your channel and you optimize your actual channel layout. In order to do that, on your end, Lego Creator, you are going to see right next to your subscribe button here, you're going to see a little gear icon. You want to click that, and then you're going to have an option to optimize your channel page um, or, or, or customize your channel page, and you want to make sure you slide that over. And when you do, you're going to see your navigation pop up here because right now I can't even get into um, your actual about page because you know I, I can't get into it because I don't have that option. So... You want to make sure that you verify your channel if you haven't yet and that you um, that you hit that gear icon and that you actually do, you know, that you uh, optimize the layout of your channel page by adding playlists and things like that. Because when I click on your uploads, okay, I see that you have some videos, not too much. You are just getting started. Welcome to YouTube. 
By the way, you know, you just started two weeks ago, so welcome to YouTube. This is extremely important to you, and I'm going to go ahead and give you this advice. One, make sure that you um, that you get your channel laid out properly, like I just mentioned. Um, also, make sure, because you only have a few thumbnails that you need to do this to right now, make sure that you are using your own logo instead of the Lego logo. Because a lot of people will drop, a lot of the Lego people will drop this Lego logo in there, but you want people to identify your content as yours. You leave the Lego in there too, so they know it's Lego, but you want them to identify your content as yours. So make sure if you're going to use this Lego logo that you also use something of yours. Actually, you know what? I just noticed you are doing it right here with the C. So what I would do is I would put that in the same exact place in all of your thumbnails and I would do it up here in the top left corner so that people can easily identify your stuff as your stuff. Okay, now let me take that off real quick, and then I will let the chat come up here on the screen while I get this next one set up from the Super Chat. Okay, so let's go into the Super Chat. Next one up, let me pop this one out, make sure that it's all family-friendly. Because we're all about family friendly around here. Okay. Let's see. Copy. Let me paste this into the right window and then we will get rolling on this one. Um, get into the window capture, turn off the chat, and then bam. Okay, this is the next one on the list. This is Maxine CD. Okay, so on your channel, you already have your channel. You, you are at 729 subscribers already. Good job. Um, yours you have up here that cross-dressing fun in the real world. So basically you're saying that um, your channel is about cross-dressing. But if you're doing vlog style content, that I would definitely make sure that, um, that you make it clear that you are doing vlog style content content so that people know the type of content they can expect from you. I mean, obviously, you know, you're saying you're saying like what it is that you're into, but you're not saying the type of content that it is that you're providing to your viewers. The next thing you want to do is you want to also um, next to your subscribe button, if you go to your channel page right now, next to your subscribe button, you're going to see a little gear icon. So you want to click that and then you actually want to customize your channel page. You want to click on the option to customize your channel page, and then you actually want to get your content laid out into playlists so that it's extremely easy for people to see all of the content it is that you're making, and then make the choice on if they want to watch more of your uh, more of your content or not. Um, for your videos, yeah, it looks like your picture is in here on pretty much all of them, which is good, but some of them, you know, like, like this one right here, you know, you are, um, it's not as clear that it's you um you know same with this one yeah there's a there's a nice uh handful of these that it's not clear that it's you so i would definitely make it more obvious that it's your content you can use a website um if, if you don't know how to do graphics or anything like that you can use a website called canva.com and it's a free website all of you guys can use this and you can actually make um, graphics and make thumbnails inside of Canva so that you can put a frame on here and you can you can add additional elements to your thumbnails to make it so people can easily identify your content because um, like with you Maxine like I was telling everyone else if you click on one of your videos and somebody starts getting familiar with your content right and they say oh you know I, I like this content here I want to watch more of it and they go into your sidebar, you want them to be able to identify that it's your content, right? And the same thing goes, like if somebody watches one of your videos and they subscribe to your channel and then on your homepage, your videos show up on their homepage, you want them to at a glance say, oh, okay, this is Maxine stuff. I was watching Maxine's content and I really enjoyed it, so I'm I'm gonna click on this because I know that it's hers. But if you have an obscure shot like the uh, like the Pizza Hut shots that you have, or you can't tell that it's you, that's where having a graphic element in place really comes in handy because if you have a graphic element, then then that's the identifier. And then in addition to having your face on there and in addition to any other like uh, shots that you put on there, it also shows that it's your content by that, by that graphic. Another thing 
Definitely make sure that you work on your titles. Um, what you want to look into is search engine optimization. Study up on search engine optimization because like here you have some tags in here, which is good, but that's like uh, SEO is more than just the tags. So you want to make sure that you're getting your titles together and that you're actually going for things that people are looking for. So here you're not even using a description and, and you know, the same thing like that's that's definitely um, that's definitely hurting you. Because in addition to the description, guys, it's not just the text that you put into your description, right? It's not just the text. It's it's also in addition to um, to the text actually describing your video, it's also important that you optimize your video description so that when, when people go into your video descriptions, they see you know a subscription link, they see links to anything else that you happen to be doing on your channel, um, or anything else that you want them to see basically um, on, on, your, on your channel. So, so yeah, make sure you're optimizing your descriptions that you're adding, uh, descriptions that you are trying to learn SEO, um, search engine optimization, so that you have a better chance of ranking your videos. So like in your case, um, let's see here. Yeah, you know, it's actually, I'm not getting anything coming up, which is interesting. It's probably has something to do with the uh, restricted stuff, which is bizarre. Yeah, maybe I'm spelling it. Okay, so basically like in your situation, uh, Maxine, like uh, with yours, because right now you're saying just like Maxine, no content live. Um, I mean, I guess this is just for a live stream, but you know, like right now, if I just type in like cross-dressing, right, if that's what you're going for, then, you know, you have cross-dressing man airport, cross-dressing in the mall, cross-dressing comedian, cross-dressing laws, cross-dressing supplies, comedies, day in India, bank robber, actors in India and Australia. And then you start, you know, you put an A, you know what I'm here. I'm actually going to turn my screen back on so you can see what I'm, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay. So you have, so basically what I did, like the information that I was just saying is if you want to, if you want to start ranking your videos, right. And you want to start getting your videos in front of more people, then when you are actually searching for things that you can make videos about, you can start there and then you can just run through the alphabet. Whoops. There we go. And then you can just start running through the alphabet and looking for things related to like if, if you're trying to reach, you know, that audience, then you start looking for things that are related that people are actually searching for and optimize your videos um, around that. That's that's the easiest way to do it. And then whatever it is that you come up with here, then you basically um, copy and paste that into your um into your title, your tags, your description, and you actually write out a full description and optimize your um, your description as well. So here, I'm going to hop back into the chat real quick. If you guys are just coming in here, and real quick, guys, that was a super chat, which means free is next. So if you are just coming into the chat, what we're doing is I'm doing channel reviews. And if you are interested in a channel review, go ahead and let me know now because I'm going to pick somebody here from this list as you are running through these. So if you are just coming in here, if you're new to the channel, make sure that if you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start doing that now by subscribing to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any videos and you don't miss out when I go live to answer your YouTube questions, to review your channels and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get this let's get this chat rolling here so that uh so that I can pick somebody out. I'm also gonna check on Twitter as well to see if uh, if anybody's tweeting me out here. See if I can sync it all up at all. Nice, nice, nice. All right, yeah, this is looking good, guys. Okay, yeah, let's see this. Okay, nice. Yeah, I hope you guys are, uh, yeah, chat's blowing up again. Absolutely blowing up again. I'm here from 8,000 subs, but it doesn't matter. You're awesome. Review, please. Congratulations on your 8,000 subs, Tegra. That is awesome. 
awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm pulling somebody up here. Let's see. Uh, let's see what is going on. Make sure everything is family friendly. Okay, you know what? I've done that one before. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into, let's see here. This one, so I can get this out of the way. Unfortunately, the top is not family friendly. So I'm trying to think of how to cover that up. Um, okay, so this one is Chiba Gaming. And Chiba Gaming, I'm, I'm just going to scroll down past this, but you have new videos every Sunday, Asian game reviews, discussion, and more. That's good. Excellent there on the channel header. You have your Chiba Gaming JP here, which is also fantastic. See, now this is a good example, guys. Like he, you know, like he watches the videos. He's always in the chats. He's always in the comments. And it's, it's clear, you know, like he's taking the information from me. He's taking the information from other um, content creators that that share this similar type of information and he's applying it to and he's applying it to his channel. Right now he's up to 421 subscribers. Congratulations on that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, you're uploading like crazy too. 1 hour ago and 16 hours ago. Nice. But yeah, your your thumbnails look good, man. Your channel header looks fantastic. It's clear, you know, what it is that you do. Um here, same thing applies, man. I, I would definitely make sure that you're optimizing your playlist um, titles and descriptions a little bit better and that you're actually adding playlist descriptions as well. Like in this one, you're, you've are you overlooked it here. So I would definitely go back and, and go through your playlist, make sure that you have descriptions in all of them. And since you're breaking them down this way, I don't know if you have done this yet or not, but I just want to say it just to be on the safe side. Um like this one right here, right? You have game analysis right now. You have four videos in here. If you have not done it already, make sure that you make this part of a series playlist. So basically what you do is you go into your actual playlist settings. So you, in your case, you would just click on the name here and then you would go into your playlist settings uh, there and then you would just check the box that says uh, official, um, uh, official series. Just that way, uh, YouTube actually says in their documentation that when you do that, that they actually, uh, you you increase the likelihood of your videos so showing up in the uh, suggested videos and your video showing up in the autoplay um, as well. So that can actually, you can feed a lot of content into yourself using that feature. Or a lot of watch time and views, I mean, into yourself for using that feature. Yeah, here, right? Because I see that you have the Japanese up here in the top. Um, I'm not sure because your titles are in English. Right. So what I would make sure that you do if you are targeting the English market is I would move this down because that hover that I was talking about earlier, you know, when people are actually searching for your content. This hover right here, when they see the type of, you know, when they see that, uh, you know, they see that first part of the description, you want to make sure that you have your um, description. If you're going after the English speaking market, you want to make sure that you have that in English so that people can see at a glance. Um, what it is that you are, you know, what it is that you're doing on your channel or what it is that you are offering, the value that you are offering um, to your to your viewers. Okay. Now we are going to go back into a super chat review. And while I'm queuing that up, I'll put the chat up on the screen. Say what is going on to some folks in the chat. All right. Flash in the pan, please review my channel, Nick. Free to Frugal, that's so cool. I didn't know the playlist have a better chance of ranking while learning just by listening. Cool, says Free to Frugal. Yeah, absolutely. And and here's the thing also, I have in, uh, which video is it? I, I have in one of my more recent videos, um, maybe it was a live stream. Uh, no, it's in one of the more recent videos where um, where I talk about some of the documentation that YouTube shows us for different things that you can do um, to increase watch time on your channel. I think that might be the actual video, um, but basically um, watch the video on watch time. I think that's the one. And I mentioned that in there about about adding your playlist to a series because and I show on screen where YouTube actually tells us that. Um, so make sure that you watch that video when, when you get it to. 
Okay, let's see here. Awesome sauce. What is going on? Nice to see you. Let's see here. I enjoy the tips. Thanks, says the Crazy Family Show. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate you hanging out, too. Because, you know, we, I did your channel, so you could have bailed already. So I appreciate you hanging out, man. I appreciate it. NFA, what is going on? Redizio, what is going on? Hey, Nick, what's that microphone? Um, this is a um, AT2035, I think it is, um, from Audio Technica. It is a XLR mic. They also make a AT2020, which I believe is a USB version. Um, this is an XLR because I have it routing through my Zoom H1, um, but I'm, I'm really liking this mic. I, I got this mic because my video mic, it works, but... I was like, you know what? Hey, since I'm doing live streams, I want to try to make this kind of, you know, give it kind of like a radio look to it. So I got this mic. I actually ordered this also, and this is actually going to sit up here and I'm going to get a little sticker made. I'm going to get a sticker here made with my logo for this channel. And then I'm going to get another sticker made for my website, tubertools.com. So when I do any type of training stuff there, um, or if I start uploading videos to that channel or whatever, then I can, you know, I can, I can just turn it around and uh and and showcase that as well so yeah trying to get the whole radio vibe going okay let's see here and guys if you're just coming into this stream because right now there's 142 people watching if you're just coming into the stream we are doing channel reviews we are answering subscriber questions and if you have never seen me before and you want to learn how to grow your channel make videos and all types of other youtube related stuff if you're a youtube content creator then start doing that now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any videos when they come out and so that you don't miss any live streams where I'm reviewing channels, you know, because I might get your channel in there um, uh, and answer your YouTube questions as well. Okay, so the next one, because we just did the free one, so let me load up one of the super chat ones. And let's see here. Next on the list. Let's make sure this is family friendly because, you know, we're trying to keep everything family friendly around here, right? Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. This, okay, here we go. So let me copy the URL here, and then we will get this one in here. One thing I do need to do is I need to work on my positioning here on this thing. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let me change the windows here. Open this. Okay. No, he is not picking channels for me. Dragon uh, Rose. What I'm doing is I'm just, as people are... You know, um, for the for the for the super chat ones, that one I just go into my super chat list for people that have donated. But for the free ones, um, I'm basically I'm just going into the chat and then it's it's, it's rolling, and then I'm just I'm you know I'll just kind of scroll up, I'll scroll down, whatever, and I will I will pick it from there. So Shabam, and I hope that I'm saying your name right. You are next on the list, and I will go into yours right now. Okay, first off, Shabam, man, I'm not, I'm not in your awesome people to watch list. Come on, man. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I got to say that I'm offended that I'm not in your awesome people to watch list. Not really. I'm just kidding. Not a big deal. It's cool. It's cool. I understand, you know. Okay, so branding, creativity, and mindset clearly says the type of content that you're offering. Like on Facebook, you're putting a nice strong call to action in there because that's definitely something that you want them to do. Um, you also have your Instagram up there, which is also good. How to deal with problems in your life in Hindi. That's good that you're targeting that. Um, let's see here. Your play, your thumbnails. Yeah, man. Thumbnails look good. Nice and clear that it's your stuff. Okay, so... so is what you're doing here because I see that you have Hindi video on some of these and others that you don't. So is the Hindi video, are you doing those in Hindi language and the other ones you are not? That's what I, that's what I get from that. But either way, your, your thumbnails, you know, how you are, how you're doing your thumbnails, you know, you got the same fonts in there for the most part, you're using the same colors, except for some highlight colors when you use the word YouTube, which is pretty cool. Um, so your, so your branding is solid, which 
you're talking about branding, creativity, and mindset. So it, you know what I mean? So that's, that's, that's very important uh, that you have that together. And it is, which is fantastic. Um, let's see here. Got your descriptions in there. You got your playlist laid out. Yeah, this is, this is looking good, man. Let's go to your about page. Figure out how they are and achieve more in their life and what niche they chose via social media. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, you are on the right path for sure. Decent amount of playlists. So you're adding playlists regularly, which is also good. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about with the thumbs, right? Guys, so so if you're watching this and and you always hear me talk about thumbs being able to, you know, to be able to recognize what's going on with someone's content. Um, or for people to be able to see your content and know that it's yours. This is a great example, right? His are even in playlists, and and you can see at a glance, like, well, hey, this is all connected. Yeah, you know I mean, like, there's no question at all that that is his content. Okay, let me click into one of your videos. All right, and if you are just coming into the channel right now, if you're just coming into this live stream, my name is Nick. Welcome to the live stream. Right now I'm doing channel reviews and answering subscriber questions. So if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now um, because any of the reviews that I pull, um, they also need to be subscribers um, as well. Nice rankings in here, my friend. Yeah, you're on the right track, dude. You're, you're good. One thing that I would do is I'm not sure if you're using TubeBuddy or not yet, but one thing that I would do is, um, is I would add your auto subscribe URL um, somewhere up here in the top. Like, of course, you know, you want your description in there, but I would also maybe here, maybe right in this area, I would add an auto subscribe link to your video descriptions. Um, uh, you don't need to, buddy, for this. You can actually code it in, but if you actually want to track it, and I'm guessing because the type of content that you're making, um, that you are into, you know, tracking your stats, seeing what's working and what isn't. Um, so, TubeBuddy actually has a shortener. Um, to where you can put it in and you can actually track it. it. It's part of their free features. So if you don't want to buy TubeBuddy, that's fine. Um, but you should definitely use it just on the free side. Um, but you can put a, a shortened auto subscribe link in here so that when people click on it, you can track it inside of TubeBuddy um, to see uh, how many people are actually clicking on that link. And, you know, when you first start using it, it's not going to be a ton of people. But, you know, as you ex expand it across your video library, as you're uploading videos, um, it starts adding up pretty quick. So um, it's important that you add that down there because the whole idea is that you want to uh, make the the process of subscribing as easy as humanly possible for people. Because the easier you make it, the more likely you are to get subscribers on your on your channel. I'm going to leave you a comment too. There we go. You know, I'm going to start doing this actually on 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 all of these. Get my hands up, give my thing in there. Bam. Yeah, give you guys some engagement while I'm at it. Okay, so there is that. Now, because that was a super chat one, guys, let's get this uh, let's get this chat rolling. You guys know the routine that, that have been in here for a little bit. I am going to uh, basically pull the next one here from. I'm going to pull the next one here from the from the chat. So let's get that chat rolling. Huge glitch. Uh oh. Mina says there's a huge glitch. Something going on here. Something I'm missing. TubeBuddy is such a valuable tool. Nick, it has two views. Yeah, he just uploaded it though. Um, for YT Tannel, it it has uh, it had two views on it, but um, or just a couple of views, whatever. But I, uh, yeah, it seemed like it was just uploaded. Pretty good up to the same. You, Justin Bennett, what is going on? Nice to see you in here, my man. Max Tack, what is going on? Just starting a channel. Maybe it's too much of a niche, especially since so far I'm doing it in Dutch. Max Tack, one thing that I recommend is if you are making content for YouTube, um, I would try to avoid doing it, you know, having some content on your channel that's in Dutch, some people on the channel that is um, in English. If you're if you're doing that, um, I would focus on one or the other and and run with that so that so that it tells the it tells YouTube what you're you know what language you're actually targeting. 
Dolce Mom Life, nice to see you in here. You say, after watching this live stream, it looks like I really need to work on my channel art. Yeah, and guys, if anybody in here does not, um, does not, you know, they don't want to do their own channel art or they, you know, whatever, um, it's not something that if you're just not artistically inclined, um, at tubertools.com, you can get custom branding packages. Um, we make those. So uh, tubertools.com for a normal custom branding package that is for your channel. Um, it's uh, $149. And for a video branding package, it is $200, includes an intro and stuff like that. So just so you know, putting that out there. Um, let's see here. Hey, Nick, you look just like Michael Stevens from Vsauce. I haven't seen that comment yet, and I think every live stream you do needs at least one of those. Yeah, Intrepid Don says that I look like uh, Vsauce. You know what's funny is I get that a lot, especially on the channel, on my All Our Questions channel, where I was uh, answering the world's most asked questions and talking about like wind and you know where wind comes from and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I would get that a lot there. And uh, uh, as a joke, I thought it would be funny. I never did it, but I thought it would be funny to actually start the video out with me popping up like he does, you know, and say like, Nick, all our, qu or, uh, all our questions, Nick here. I, I thought that would be hilarious, but yeah, I, I love Vsauce, but yeah, I, I get that a lot. Um, it's, it's the glasses, the bald head, you know what I mean? That, that whole thing. Okay guys. So yeah, let, let's see the, uh, let's see the comments roll for anybody that wants a, uh, that wants to see a channel review. Alan, let's play. Nice to have you in here, man. Take care. Trains are fun. Nice to see you in here as well. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get it rolling here. Free to frugal review. Review, stop review. Paul Democritu, what is going on, man? Nice to see you in here. Nice to see you stopping by. Review, stop. Nice to see you in here as well. Okay, I'm pulling one up here, and we are going to see. Make sure that it's family friendly. Pretty sure that it is. And it is. So I'm going to close this and then we will put it into another window. And then after it is in that other window, then we will get it going. Okay, guys, and just so you know, and I'm saying this here publicly so that nobody comes back into a future chat and gives me a hard time about it. Um, as of now, because I have a, a, a nice amount of them lined up here, so um, as of now, for the super chats, um, any additional super chat ones, um, like because I'm I'm full, like I'm actually going to be on here for a while um, doing these. So um, so if you see somebody talking about you know super chatting for the sake of getting a review, um, if they just want to super chat, you know that's cool. But if they are doing it for the sake of getting a review, um, I'm I'm like completely filled up here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get to all of these. So just make sure that you tell them that that's not the case. I'm actually going to put it in my in my ticker here real quick too, just so people, so people know, cause I'm still doing the same thing. I'm going free review, super chat review, free review, super chat review. So, okay, let's see here. Yeah, it's actually gonna take a while to get to that, but I'm gonna put it in the thing here. Super chat reviews now closed, but free reviews still open. Woo! Free reviews still open. What do you mean? You're doing free reviews. This is great. Woo woo! All right. So now, since we are going on to the super chat side, let's see where we are. Grandpa's place. What is going on? I see you say hi, Nick. Um, let's see here. Ah, no need for a review. Oh, it's the average Dan. Okay, very cool. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Dally RC. Hey, Nick, I'm fairly new and would love a quick review. We are going to go to your channel. Okay, first thing that I can tell you right now. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not doing the Super Chat one right now. I'm doing the free one first. Oops, I forgot. Okay, so let me get this up, get it queued. And we are going into free to frugal. All right. Make sure to subscribe to you. Because I like free and I'm frugal. So this is fantastic. Okay. Free to frugal. I'm taking a guess there. And I'm guessing that you're teaching people how to, um, how to you know, leave, live cheaply, so to speak. Which is fantastic. Or to be mindful, I should say, of their money. Which is an awesome service that you are providing. Because 
you know, that's definitely something that's <laughs> drastically needed in the world. Excellent looking thumbnails, by the way. You know, with your face being on there, you're using similar fonts to where, you know, to where it's clear that it's your stuff. That is fantastic. You change it up a little bit down here. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what your plan is for that. If you are doing, um, if you're going to start doing a special series or, you know, something like that. Um, but since your face is on there, you're still in the clear, but I would still try to sync up everything it is that you're doing just to be on the safe side. Um, you know what I mean? Because you want to make it easy for people to, to identify your stuff as your stuff. Um, let's see here. Let's go up to your videos page. Okay. You have a lot of content in here. So another thing. Yeah, so your thumbnails are good for the most part. You have these, and I'm not sure. Um, oh, it's live. Is that what these are? No. Yeah, so so like on these, real quick, I'll, I'll, I'm going to bounce around here for a second. But yeah, like on, on these thumbnails here, you know, I would try to sync up some of this stuff. Your face is in there, so you're still okay for the most part. Um, but again, you know, the more... The, the, the more similar that everything looks, then the easier it is for people to identify that it's, that it's your content, which, which is what, um, what helps you win. But the, uh, the, the amount of content that you have versus what is being displayed on your channel page right now, um, I highly recommend that you add some more playlists to your channel page because right now, in order for people to see that you have a lot of content, they have to go through the extra step of clicking on your videos tab instead of just scrolling down and seeing, you know, that you have a lot more content. Um, when somebody lands on your channel page, you want them to be able to just scroll down and at a glance, see as much of your content as humanly possible so that they can say, oh, okay, well, she's talking about, you know, uh, uh, the 10 minimalist travel tips. And I'm interested in that. So I'm going to click on that. And then you just got another view. You just got more watch time. If they are into your stuff, then you know, then you just got some engagement. Not watching the the video, obviously, because I'm on the because I'm on the stream here, but definitely gonna gonna contribute to some engagement. Huh, that's weird. It's not even working. There we go. Some service you're providing here. Boom. Okay, for your tags and your title, let's see here. Okay, another thing that I would do is it seems like you're going kind of broad on your on your tags here. Like um, I, I would try to pick a because a, a, I see that you are picking phrases, which is good, but it looks like you're that you're trying to rank for a handful of different things with one video, which is okay. You can you can definitely do that, but and it's working for you. I mean, you got seven thousand subscribers on your channel, um, but I would definitely, definitely, if like if you're gonna break it down this way, right? Then I would also go into more detail here in the description about maybe each one a little bit, just so that when that's crawled, you know that that first top section when it's crawled, that it's clear. Um, to the to the algorithm what it is that you're actually trying to trying to rank like here you know you got 19 on how to travel late which is good um, minimalist travel tips you know you got 11 on that um, but what what can happen is the more specific you are on the terms that you're trying to rank for the easier it is to actually rank for those terms if that makes if that makes any sense at all and with that said you know I also have to say that sometimes you know you can, you can pull a Hail Mary like this to where you're just, you know, you're just throwing it out there. You're throwing a bunch of stuff out to see if anything sticks. And sometimes it does, which is good. But if you want to strategically do it and you want to start ranking, you know, a lot of your videos on a, on a consistent basis in a really good place, then it's important to basically, you know, pick a term as, you know, pick a primary term and a secondary term and go hard for those. Go really hard for the primary, but you can also, you know, go for a secondary as well, but go really hard for that primary term, be it minimalist travel tips or how to travel light or whatever. And by doing that, it's it's going to help you rank higher um, in search because you're optimizing everything around that term instead of diluting it with a bunch of other stuff. Same thing with your, uh, same thing with your tags too. 
Like, for example, like you have story time here in your tags. And like, basically, this is saying that, you know, that you have like, maybe you have like a story in here or something like that, but it, it kind of dilutes because story time doesn't have anything to do with minimalist travel tips, how to travel light or how to travel like a minimalist. So essentially you're diluting your, your SEO by putting in stuff like that, that doesn't directly apply to the terms that you're trying to rank for. Again, you know, if you're trying to, if you're using these for, you know, trying to come up and suggest it and stuff like that, that's, that's, that's excellent. But as far as ranking is concerned, because you're like 19 and 11 on these, as far as ranking is concerned, the more specific that you can be, um, the better off, the better off you're going to be. Um, okay. Yeah. So those are, those are some, uh, tips for you. I hope you found that, I hope you found that helpful and congratulations on the 7,000 subscribers. I know, I know the work involved in, in getting a lot of subscribers. So fist bump to you, high five to you for that 7,000 subscribers. That's so interesting. Thanks. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. So now we are going to go into a super chat window real quick. I'm just going to hang out here in the chat for a second. If you have not given this video a thumbs up yet, make sure that you do if you're enjoying the information being shared. And if you guys want to, you know, there, there's the occasional, hey, can you review me that's coming in? Um, if you want a review on the free side, next I'm doing a super chat review. But if you want to go ahead and just start just start putting them in there. Hey, you know, I want to review. I want to review. Go ahead and start putting them in there. So while I am reviewing this next one, then uh, I can have a nice selection of channels to choose from. So I can just I can just scroll through and quit and pick something really quick. So go ahead and start putting them in there. If you want a channel review, go ahead and start putting it in there now while I am reviewing this other channel. Okay, let's see here. Going into the super chat. Okay, so this next one is, let's see here, let me change this out. Okay, this next one is from Dally uh, uh, RC. Um, which, you know, clearly it's about RC cars, but one thing that I would do on your channel is I would, you know, put some text in your header to, to make it more clear what type of videos you have, maybe put your upload schedule there or something like that. So that, you know, you have, you know, uh, new RC videos, because this tells me that you do something about RC cars, but it doesn't tell me if you're building them, if you're breaking them, if you are, you know, I guess you're having some GoPro stuff on them, which is pretty creative. That's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, like, I don't know if you're doing cinematic stuff with RC cars or whatever, but, you know, I would just put some type of text up here in your header uh, that lets people know the type of content it is that you are making. And you don't have a lot of content yet, but once you start getting your content together, you definitely want to put that into, um, into playlists here on your channel so that you can highlight uh, more of your content up here. Right now, let's see here. Yeah, like here, definitely you want to fill out your description more. Um, you may also want to, like here you have to get in touch, make sure to check out your Facebook page. Um, you can actually add links to your channel. If you go onto your channel page and you hover over your header here, you can select a little icon, a little pencil icon up here in the top right. And from that drop dropdown, um, you can click on that and uh, it will give you the option to um, to add links, so you can add you can actually add your Facebook link there. Just so you know, because here this isn't clickable, but if you if you add it here, then it's going to be clickable here, um, and it's going to show up up here in your uh, channel header too. You can also add that on your about page too if you are on your um, if you're on your actual about page. But that is the tips for you because there's just not a lot of stuff going on there, so I can't get too you know there's not too I can't get too far into it because there's, there's just not a lot going on there. So basically, fill out your description, make your thumbnails, um, sync your thumbnails up, put some type of branding on your thumbnails, and in your channel header, um, also put um, the type of content that you have. And another thing too, your your channel avatar, you have Dally RC in your channel avatar, but you're not, uh, like it's hard to read, right? Like I'm used to working with like weird fonts and stuff, and even for me, it's, it's really hard to read. So I would make your font, 
um, in your channel avatar, I would make that easier, easier, a lot easier um, to read because that's that's pretty um, illegible. Just as a side note there. Okay, so now because that was a super chat one, so now we're going to go into a free one. Let's see. I'll talk to Nick later on after the live and get him to review your channel next time, man, says Jack Chi. Okay, Nerd Explorer, congrats. It's parfait, FIFA 17 trading methods, but please watch your comment flow and don't spam. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, guys, we are coming up on a free one here, so let's go ahead and lay that in. And guys, just so you know, um, which I added it to the to the ticker on the bottom of the screen, but the Super Chat reviews... Um, if, if the super chat is already in there, you're okay. Um, you should be before I actually made that statement because I have it saved here. So basically everybody after the illest truth, um, which is just one person geeky gaming here. So I guess, yeah, so I'll add you to the list, but I have a lot of them here that I, that I have to go through still. So if you're thinking of giving a super chat for the sake of getting a review, um, don't do that now because those are closed because I'm going back and forth between the super chats and the free reviews because I know you know a lot of people they don't have super chat enabled because of the country they're in they can't do super chat um you know whatever it is so make sure if you want a free review that you are one subscribed to the channel and two um that you let me know right now because I'm getting ready to pick somebody one that you let me know right now that you want a channel review Yeah, let's, let's get that chat moving. And also, if you have not given this video a thumbs up yet, make sure you do that too. Because, you know, the the, the thumbs up and the, the, the chat moving and all that stuff, that helps this video go out to more people, which, you know, in turn helps other people long term. You know, if they subscribe to my channel, it helps people learn how to grow their, their channels. It helps people learn how to make videos. And it le helps people learn how to basically get through the difficult learning curve of going from a low subscriber count to a decent subscriber count and basically getting that momentum going um, on their channels, which is the main stuff that I focus on. You know, the tips and trips you guys know that are already subscribed to my channel. You know, you guys know the type of, of information that I provide to try to help everybody get more views, subscribers, and things like that. So definitely share this video and, you know, give it a thumbs up and, and, and you know, leave a comment and stuff like that so that, um, so that the video can get pushed out more so that it can help more YouTubers um, in the long run. Okay, so next up on the list. Okay, go ahead and reviews means a lot. Thanks for the news. Could you read my channel? Yep, did that one. Grandpa's place. What is going on? I don't think you have videos in here. I know you didn't. Okay, yeah, you don't. So thanks. I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Larry saying thank you. That's awesome. And thank you, Larry, for that. I appreciate it. Okay, Kitzlam's Art. You are coming up here for the... Oh, wait. No, we're doing a free one, right? Yeah, we're doing a free one. That's right, because that last one was paid. So yeah, guys, I'm going to hop in the chat right now and pick somebody. So make sure that you got this thing rolling. I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, Kid Slam's art, just so you know, you are next up on the on the list after the uh, free one that is getting ready to happen. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to go through here. Hey, Astro Focus, what is going on, man? Nice to see you. Um... Let's see. Yeah, we're jamming here. Yeah, let's see some of these come in. Okay. Let's make sure I've got somebody picked here. Let's make sure that they are family friendly, making family friendly content. And here's the thing, guys. I'm putting a like at um right now it's eleven oh four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start grinding through these really quick because right now it's eleven oh four. I want to be off of here by um like 1120. So I've got like 15 minutes uh, before we before we close this out. And real quick. Let's see here. Okay. 
Okay. That was my brother, by the way. He has a channel, guys, House of Tingles. If you are not familiar with his uh, with him yet, he has a, a channel called House of Tingles, so definitely go check that out. He's in a lot of my recent video descriptions um, as well. Trenton Marshall is next up on the free list here. Trenton, let me get you lined up over here. Onto this. Okay, so. Okay, so Trenton, my faves, Nick Nimmin, right there at the top of the list. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You got Roberto in here. Awesome stuff. Daryl Eves, awesome stuff. Video creators, awesome stuff. We all know Casey Nice. That has awesome stuff. Awesome fave videos, by the way. Thanks for having me on there. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, Trenton Marshall. He does tech reviews and random stuff. Extremely clear, nice and clean font. Um, uh, for the RC channel that I just did, this is what I mean by by your fonts, right? You see how easy this is to read? Trenton Marshall, tech reviews and random stuff. Super easy to read, super easy to consume. You don't even have to think about it, right? You just see it and, and, and you just, you know what's going on, right? You know it's about Trenton Marshall and then his secondary tech reviews and random stuff, you know that he's doing tech reviews and random stuff. You don't have to figure out, you know, what the font looks like. Everything is right here in the center of his channel header. So you don't have to look around the channel header to try to figure out what's going on. You know, what type of stuff does he make? Everything is right there, front and center. It's extremely clear, extremely easy to consume at a glance, the type of content that Trenton is making. And because of his icons up here and the particular fonts that he used and the texture he put in the background, it gives it all a little bit of style also, which that adds to his visual authority as far as, you know, people taking his content more seriously because everything looks good. So, you know, it makes that psychological impact of, you know, hey, he's got he's got, you know, decent stuff, even though they may not have even gotten to more of his videos yet. And real quick, looks like two weeks ago you crossed 500 subscribers. Congratulations on that. Um, again, you know, I know how hard that is to reach. So I just want to give you a thumbs up on 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 reaching that mark as well. Okay, so first thing that I want to mention here for you <clears throat> is the the same thing that I've mentioned on a lot of channels or a, a lot of the ones I've looked at so far today is on your on your thumbnails here. You know, like your picture here in in the sides, that's that's cool. But you want to you want to do something, right? I would definitely work with this style here and I would add something to every single one of your thumbnails that makes it that that connects that thumbnail to you and your content so that when people when people look at your your channel and they see anywhere on YouTube their homepage a recommended sidebar or anything like that when they see it they know that it's your content. When you come up on their homepage, they know it's yours. They know to click on it. They know to come in. And then that's going to get you more views, more watch time, which in turn is going to give you more channel authority, which in turn is going to create people sharing your stuff more, which in turn is going to make you get more subscribers and more views and more watch time faster, which creates more momentum on your channel, which makes everything grow a lot quicker um, over time. Um, also, yeah, see, you don't have a lot of content on here. Um, it looks like you've been kind of sporadic on your content. Um, so I would definitely. So it looks like you've just been going and back at it again for, you know, for the last like two weeks or so. Um, if you're going to do tech reviews, I would I would space them out a little bit unless you can keep up with this, because if you can keep up with this much content you know, in, in this short amount of time, if you can keep up with that and keep everything quality, then keep rolling with that. But if you think that, hey, it's possible that I'm going to burn out if I keep up this pace, then it's probably a good a good idea to, uh, you know, to maybe space those out just a little bit, you know, two, three uploads a week. Um, but if you can, you know, upload every day if you can, because you'll grow faster. But, but I would definitely uh, commit to uploading on a regular basis instead of, you know, uploading six months, a couple of videos, and then taking a break for, you know, four months, and then uploading two months, uh, one video in two months, and then taking a break, and then coming back and doing more. You know what I mean? Like, just just keep it consistent. It's important. Yeah, and on your, on your description, I would definitely fill this out um, a little bit more as well. And again, thanks for having me in your, my faves list. I appreciate it. 
Okay, guys, if you are just coming into the chat, my name is Nick. First off, make sure that if you have been in here for a while, if you're appreciating the information that I'm sharing, that you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that, you know, so that I know that you're enjoying the content. And what's going on right now is I'm doing channel reviews, I'm doing free reviews, and I'm doing super chat reviews, but the super chat reviews, as a side note, are closed. If you want to give a super chat just because, you know, just because it's cool, then go for it. But if you're doing it for the sake of a channel review, then please, um, please hold off because those are already filled up. So now I'm going to go back since I did that one, which was a free one. Now I'm going to go back in here into Kit Slam's art. And let me pull that up. Yeah, I'm down to 10 minutes here. So I'm going to see what I can get through here in 10 minutes. Okay, this one, Kit Slam's art, 3,000 subscribers, good job, oops, good job, channel header, very interesting, uh, video every weekend, YouTube, okay, for the YouTube Kit Slam, you don't really need to do that because they're already on your, they're already on your channel, um, for the subscribe, here, if you're going to do that, I would definitely put like an arrow or something pointing down this way just so it doesn't confuse anybody wanting to click on it because you don't like we you don't want to make any assumptions on how people on how uh, people use the platform. Like some people will actually try to click on that button, which is hilarious. But um, you have a new video every weekend. I would clarify what type of video. Obviously, your channel name says art. But again, just to make it easy for people to consume, um, I would put new art video every weekend or if you're doing something specific like speed painting or something like that then i would definitely do that okay for your thumbnails these are awesome because you're showing you know you're showing the the actual image that you're drawing the 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 final version of it or, or close to final and those are absolutely awesome i would i i wouldn't change anything about these except i would put something maybe like just something really small right up here in like a top right or uh, bottom left, or I'm sorry, top left or bottom left corner so that people can ident identify your art is your art because you know, if somebody watches this video and this video shows up on their homepage and they're subscribed to a bunch of other art channels, then it might not, they might not make that connection. Like I see what you're doing with the pencils, right? Which is, which is also extremely smart and that's your way of kind of doing that. So if nobody else is doing that thing with the pencils, then in reality, that would be good enough um, to use as your branding because that's, you know, that's unique to you. But if there are other people that are doing that, then I would just add a tiny little thing um, either in the top left or, or, or uh, uh, bottom left corners. Now, okay, how we got on the crayon carvings? Wow, man, you are talented. Holy cow. Wow, that, that's, in wow. that's incredible absolutely incredible hey you know what i'm gonna do i think this might be fun maybe hold on i just i just had a thought here let's see if i can shrink this down yeah i might make this kind of fun so then we can get like uh so we can do like a, a whole reaction thing right let me put this down here let me move it up a tad there we go. So now we can get we now we can get a reaction cam, right? <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying before is uh one you are you have crazy crazy skills here. Guys, look at this. He's he's carving at the blown away. Absolutely blown away here. You're you're carving at the top on on crayons into all this stuff. Do you have a stormtrooper? Please tell me you have a stormtrooper. Nope, no stormtrooper. Man, I would love to see a stormtrooper on here. I'm actually going to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon and hope that one of these days you do a stormtrooper. If you do a stormtrooper, please send it to me and I will share it everywhere I possibly can. Just send it to me on Twitter or something because that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, they, these are these are killer, man. Wow. Um, okay, now one thing I want to back up to is, okay, here, how you're doing your pencils, absolutely fantastic. Um, here, 
you know, what you're doing here because, you know, you're putting a Crayola box back there and, you know, this is all symbolic of what it is that you're doing for this playlist. This is symbolic of what it is that you're doing for this playlist. And you, oh my, oh, now you've got Star Wars. There. Oh, oh yeah, this is great. Stormtrooper Star Wars cookie. Oh yeah, this is, wow. Yeah, this is fantastic. And to be honest with you, I am, I'm devastated that you don't have more that you don't have more views on these. Wow. Yeah, this yeah, this is great. Yeah, I'm I'm actually going to come back in here and I am going to share some of this stuff cuz this is uh this is really really cool stuff. Yeah, you you your skill set is incredible. Wow. Yeah, and you nailed Star Wars. Yeah, amazing. Okay, so anyway, uh the the way you're doing your thumbnails is fantastic, right? Because, you know, you're breaking each thing down into its own particular playlist and you're you're making your your style the actual branding for the thumbnail. And, and that's awesome. And how you're putting the Oreo thing on there and you're making them all look the same and that's fantastic. But one thing that I would do is in some way, maybe it's something that you put on your knife or maybe it's something that you lay on the table when you are shooting this stuff or something. But I would do something very small so that you don't take away from the thumbnail. I would do something very, very, very small. Um, just a little tiny logo up in the top corner or something to, to let people know that your nebula drawing is the same person that's making the crayon carving art, right? Like they can see it with your name, but I'm just saying that visual reference. And as an artistic person you know what I'm talking about because, you know, when you're, when you're browsing around YouTube, because you're, you're, you're a visual person, I'm guessing you're probably looking at thumbnails more than you are anything also. So I would, I would definitely, definitely make that connection so that the people that are fans of yours that are into, you know, the different types of arts that you do so that they can identify your stuff as your stuff because they're probably subscribed to a lot of art channels. So I would, I would definitely make that change, but yeah, I, I'm, I just want to say that I am completely blown away by what it is that you're doing here. And I think over time that you are going to do really, 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 really well. And, and I'm actually shocked right now at the view count, um, the view count that you have. If you're not sharing this stuff on Reddit yet, you need to, because like this stormtrooper stuff, for example, total Reddit material, um, your, uh, your Jurassic World, like all, all of your stuff is total Reddit, you know, Reddit would l absolutely go bonkers over this stuff. So I would definitely um, get this stuff on Reddit. Uh, if you if you haven't already, I would get this stuff on Reddit as fast um, as you possibly, fast as you possibly can. But yeah, amazing stuff. Fist bump, high five, massive props to you for your for your skill set. Blown away. Just, just saying that, blown away by your channel. And one other thing too is, in your channel header, you might want to also, you might want to also break it down. I see that you kind of do it, but it's not as clear as it is in your thumbnails, right? Like in your channel header, you have the different types of art that you're doing, but you don't have the the connection, the the branded connection that you have in your in your thumbnails with like the Crayola um, uh, box in the background and that kind of stuff. Okay, so guys, if you are just coming into this live stream, my name is Nick. Welcome to the live stream. I am getting ready to do a live channel review for free for somebody. So if you are interested in that, then start telling me in the comments right now so I can go ahead and pick you from the list. Okay, technically I've got one minute. And then uh, I'm out of here, but I'm going to I'm going to stretch it to 1130 um, just to just to try to get in a few more. So I'm, I'm going to start burning through these really quick just so uh, just so I can do it. So I'm going to take uh, let's see here. Let's scroll around. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Hope everybody's doing well today. It's 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 Sunday night for me. It's Sunday afternoon for a lot of you guys. Um, you know, depending on where you are at in the world. 
So, you know, I just want to I just want to say that I hope that you are enjoying your day. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday, whatever it is that you are into today. You know, a lot of people are relaxing today. So, you know, for all you guys, I hope you're really enjoying your day, whatever it is that you uh, that you happen to be doing. OK, let's see here. Yeah, Jazzy Puppet says, I want to know how long it takes to carve a crayon tip. You're not the only one. Yeah, I do, too. I mean, that's wow. Blown away that that was that was a really, really, really cool channel. Yeah, and I subscribed and hit the bell icon because I want to know what I want to know what's going on next. <laughs> awesome channel. Okay, let's see here. All right, all right. Louisiana, nice. Sunday morning in Louisiana. Okay, let's see here. I am going to open this one up, make sure it's family friendly as long as it is, then I'm going to go into this one. Okay, next on our list is the Keepers of Books. So let me transfer this over. Okay, Keepers of Books. Hi, Whoa, Hi, hey, Jessica. Sarah. Hi, Karen. Okay, so on yours, let me pull the... Cam up here, and we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of put it down here, so if anybody is interested, they can see what is going on there reaction-wise. And we'll go ahead and throw the chat. Uh, chat can be. Okay. All right. So on yours, the keeper of the books, I'm guessing you are obviously doing something uh, with books. I'm not sure what type of things you're doing with books. If you're doing book reviews, if you are teaching people how to write books, if you are doing book summary type content, I'm not sure as I'm looking at your channel here. So one thing that I would do for yours is I would try to put somewhere up here, specifically if you are doing, let's see here, Mystery Models, Blind Bag and Books, Flippin' Awesome, Last Chance, uh, let's see here, 7-Eleven Books Readers. Yeah, whatever, I still, even reading your titles, I'm not 100% sure what it is that you are doing, if it's reviews maybe, but I would put The Keepers of Books because your name is here, the keepers of books, very important that you have this up here. And just as a heads up, I'm guessing that on a mobile device that your header is probably getting cut off maybe right here and right here. So you might want to shrink this in just a tad in order to, um, you know, your actual logo, go ahead and shrink it in a tad so that it is, uh, so that it, it looks okay on a mobile. And I'm actually going to pull it up right now just to, just to see keepers of books but yeah like what i would do in your situation is i would definitely put whatever type of content it is that you make i would i would i mean you know since you're making book stuff yeah this is what i mean see here how it's how it's getting cut off i'm not sure if you can see that or not let me open up my obs here yeah so basically you're getting cut off there on both sides on a mobile so I would definitely, um, I would definitely shrink that in a little bit, and then right underneath that, specify the type of book content it is that you make. Um, also, right now you have the recent activities, you have your popular uploads and your created playlist. Having these created playlists on here is fantastic. But one thing that I would do in addition to that is I would take your video content because you have a decent amount of it. I would take your video content and I would break these down into different categories. Um, into different separate playlists is what I'm getting at. And I would I would add uh, more playlists to not playlist this type of playlist, but horizontal playlists, maybe some vertical playlists mixed in or whatever. But I would just add more playlists so that when somebody scrolls down your page, they see a lot more of your content. Um, so it's easier for them to consume more of the content that it is that you make. Okay, so there's that one. Let me move the webcam back up while I am looking for the next one. Doo, 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 doo. Guys, if you are just coming in the stream, my name is Nick. I make videos that help YouTubers grow their channels, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff. It is nice to have you in here. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff.
And if you're enjoying this video and if you have learned anything in this live stream, please go ahead and uh, give this video a thumbs up as well, just so I know it kind of lets me know, you know, for future reference that I am, you know, sharing the right type of information, that I'm sharing the type of information that you guys want to, um, that you guys want to watch. Okay, next up on the list is my buddy, Intrepid Don. So let me get you put in the right window here so I can transition in. And loading, and here we go. Okay, so Intrepid Don. First off, you know what? Yeah, I've been on here before. Okay. So first off, yeah, subscribed already. First off, love your channel avatar. Looks fantastic. Intrepid Dawn Sci-Fi Gaming Alliance. That's cool. Weekly schedule. New videos. Star Trek Wednesdays. Awesome. There. One thing just to keep in mind, um, like I was just showing the bookkeepers, um, it's a it's good practice to when you're when you're doing your channel art. Like in situations like this where you are being specific about, you know, hey, this is, you know, I'm doing new videos every, you know, whatever. I mean, you can you can do it how you're doing it. You're fine because you have it on there. But if you can center all of that stuff into stuff into the middle so that on a mobile device, um, it, it's still it's still there and they can still see it on a mobile device. That's definitely a bonus because you may want to look in your stats. Me personally, um, I'm right now between mobile phones and tablets. Um, I am like 54% mobile as far as the people viewing my content. So I have to optimize everything that I'm doing for mobile because a majority of the people that are watching my content are on a mobile device. Real quick, sound out. If you're on a mobile device right now, I'm just curious how that works on the live chat side. If you're on a mobile device right now, um, go ahead and go ahead and, and, and say something. Chris Tankersley in the house. What is going on, my, my friend? Yes, yeah, so if you're on a mobile device right now, I would love to know it, um, just because just because it's interesting to to know if people are are consuming this stuff on a, on a mobile phone like live. You know what I mean? Okay, so Intrepid Don got playlists going in here. You have your branding on here. That's good. So you know, basically what he's doing here. You see, how he's got this blue stripe down here. Sometimes that's all it takes. You know, just this blue stripe right here. People over time will get familiar with that, so then when it pops up, they know that it's his. Yeah, that's excellent. And that same blue stripe here is actually reversed right up here, and the same with the bottom. So it all, you know, it all fits in. It all ties together. Well done. Love that Darth Vader picture, by the way. Um... Yeah, here also with your playlist descriptions, I would definitely expand on those. Um, yeah, you've got all this broken down into playlists. That's good. You got related featured content, which is good. These are other people in your niche, which is which is a which is a very smart thing to do for the association. Do trepid dawn. We focus on sci-fi gaming. Yeah, this is good because this shows you know the type of content that you make for the people that are hovering. That is excellent. Yeah, you 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 are you are definitely on the right path, my friend. Um, yeah, you're even using your 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 frame here, you know, for that extra step. That's excellent. So yeah, you're definitely on the right path. The only thing that I'd recommend really is some of this stuff. Um, I would I would just kind of move things around a little bit so that it's a little bit more mobile friendly. Look in your stats. If if most of the people that are watching yours are on a desktop, it's not as important, but it is important because you know on 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 uh, YouTube in general you know, because they're still growing like crazy. And, and because of that, a lot of the people that are consuming content, they even say that most of the views on YouTube are from mobile devices. So even if the, even if in your stats right now, even if they don't show that, Hey, you know, there's more people in here, um, on a desktop, if they show that instead of mobile, it's still good to go ahead and start mobilizing or optimizing for mobile. Because if, if your viewers are not in mobile right now, or if they're not primarily mobile users, then eventually they will be. So it's good to go ahead and get that stuff ironed out now. So you don't have to, so you don't have to worry about it in the future. You know, it just makes it a, a little bit easier. Okay. Next one on the list. 
Okay, so the next one to come up on the list here. And I'm going to have to give some credits here because uh, some of these I'm not going to be able to get to because I am out of time, unfortunately. But I'm going to have to stack up some credits. Maybe maybe I'll do another maybe I'll do another stream this week with a um, with a specific makeup for for those people. Okay. Razman's reality. What is going on, man? Here is a review for you as well. For yours, unbiased reviews and discussion, that is fantastic. Did I transfer over yet? Yep. Okay. Unbiased reviews and discussions, that is fantastic. This right here, your avatar, I would make that a little more, um, this is really hard to read. So I think you'd be better off since you are using your face. Uh, I think you would be better off actually putting your face in there than you would this because you can't even read any of this other stuff. So I would I would put your face in there um, instead. Maybe put your face up here and then put your um, put your actual logo under your face so that maybe that's down here on the bottom and then your face is here and then see how that looks when you leave a comment. Um, I would add more playlists to your channel page and I would definitely sync up your thumbnails. It looks like you're like you're trying to do that here on the most recent stuff. But if you look here, how you have, you know, what I've watched catching you up and hanging out, um, how you have this here, and then you have that same look here, um, you know, I would find something that you can sync up so that everything looks similar so it's easier for people to recognize your stuff as, um, as your stuff. Same thing here. Um, I would basically fill this out a little bit more to let people know more about the content that you offer for the sake of that hover, which is something that I went over um, that I went over earlier. Basically, when people search for any type of content um, in the search results, um, it it basically shows uh, it shows this part of your description when people hover over your channel name in search results. Okay, next one here on the list is Mr. Patrick Core, Create to Inspire. Okay, on yours, Patrick, if you're still around, I'm not sure if you're still in the chat or not, but on yours, they do have a manual. Okay, um, Savage Scientist says that I wish that YouTube had a manual for cropping on mobile, TV, and desktop. If you, if you Google for YouTube channel header template, or channel art template, they actually have a PSD that you can download if you're a Photoshop user, and it actually um, it actually shows you the guides of where they cut everything off of. So when when uh, when you're making your channel art, then it shows, hey, this is you know this is what it's going to look like on, or this is where the mobile part is going to cut off. This is where desktop users are going to see it, and this is what TV users are going to see. So they definitely do offer that. Okay, Mr. Patrick Core, yours looks great. Quinn in the clouds, thank you. Um, yours looks great. I love the minimal look that you're going, the minimalistic look you're going for. I think that looks fantastic. Um, but one thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't specify the type of content that you that you are that you are making. Like th this doesn't tell me anything. Like, and even looking at your channel here, I have no idea what it is that you're making. If you're doing like short films, then then I would say that you are making short films. You know what I mean? I would definitely say that up here somewhere that you're making short films. Um, here where you have your content, here you have one description in your channel playlist. Here, you don't have any description at all. Even though it says vlogs for the title, I would still put a description here. It helps you be more discoverable. Also with your playlist titles, you want to make sure that you are making those something that... Uh, that people would look for um, as well. So when people are typing in the search box, you know, vlogs, then I would pick a, a long tail keyword that you can add as the type of vlogs that you make. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so on your channel, it doesn't look like you have a lot of videos. It looks like you've made a handful of videos that have done well, which is, which is good. Yeah, like this one, well done. Um, 
but it doesn't look like you're making consistent content. So one thing that is very important, especially these days on YouTube, is that you that you upload consistently. You don't have to upload every day. Um, you don't even have to upload every week. It's just the more that you upload, the 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 faster um, you're going to grow because that's more doorways that you are creating into your channel. So you know, in your case, six months, three months, two months, one week. That's that's a pretty that's a pretty wide span. So I would definitely try to uh, I would definitely try to um, upload more if you are worrying about um, you know your if if you want your channel to to come back to life so to speak then I would upload more content if the content that you make is more because this looks kind of cinematic this looks at, like it might be cinematic this looks like it might be so if you're making more short film type stuff I know it's more difficult to make but um, I would just I would say okay I'm going to start making videos every whatever it is fill in the blank every week every two weeks once a month whatever it is and i would just commit to that and i would start doing that on a regular basis and that will that will definitely help you out okay next on the list all right guys i am actually whoa what just happened there hold on back in a second back in a second there we go Okay, let's see here. Oh, keepers of the books. That's funny. Keepers of the books. I actually picked you out of the out of the free crowd, but you actually did a super chat too. That's funny. Okay. That's funny, Trenton. I did Trenton too. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting these next few lined up. I'm going to burn through them really quick because uh, because I do need to. Whoa. Where's that? There we go. Okay, so I did Trenton already. Let's see this. What is going on, guys? If you are just coming into this live stream. Let's see here. My webcam. All right, if you are just coming into this live stream, basically I'm doing uh, channel reviews. We are getting ready to wrap up here shortly, um, but I just wanted to thank you for coming into the live stream, and I'm going to run through some of these last uh, reviews here and give a little bit more um, advice, and then I'll be on for just a just a couple more minutes, just shouting some people out, you know, just chatting a little bit, and then uh, and then I will wrap it up. So, Jazzy Puppet. For you, you're obviously making puppet content uh, with this, but one thing that I would do also in your channel header is I would say specifically um, what it is that you're doing. You know, if if it's if you're targeting like a, a kids market, then I would say something about you know like family friendly, um, you know, family friendly content for children or you know something like that. Um, just to just to kind of make it clear the type of content that you make that it's family friendly, that kind of stuff. Um, Congrats on on getting close to 2000 also by the way. Thumbnails, you're using the frames, that's good all your stuff is bright. Okay, here's another thing that I would do. Um in your case specifically because you're branding your puppet, um I would get like your puppet head or maybe just maybe this whole thing that you're using right here, right this whole image and I would just make a small version actually exactly like you're doing right here. I I would do this but I would do it in every single one of your thumbnails. So all of your thumbnails um, has your puppet in there, and I would put I would put the puppet in the same place in the thumbnail, so that so that when people see this stuff, they know that it's yours. So you know you have your border on there, you have your puppet in there, and then you have the the actual toys that you are playing with or reviewing or or whatever it is that you are doing uh, here on the channel. Toy reviews for kids, yeah, doing reviews. So yeah, so that's that's definitely something that. Um, that I would do is I would add the puppet since you're branding your puppet, you know, the whole thing is about the puppet. So I would definitely, um, put your, put your puppet in every single one of the, uh, every single one of the thumbnails without question. Yeah. You've got your playlist in here. You've got the descriptions laid in there. I would add some more to that one, but this is, this is okay. But you know, just, just keep in mind that these can rank, you know what I mean? So I would definitely keep that in mind when you are writing your titles and description for your playlist. Um, 
Also, good association here with the uh, having similar channels over here in your sidebar. That is also smart. We are fun family videos, family videos, fun toys, reviews. Yeah, excellent on your channel description. Turtles. Yeah, you're uploading on a regular basis. Yeah, okay, this is what I mean on your on your thumbnails. And and visual authority is 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 very important, right? Like um, like here, you, you actually, you've actually done this a, a handful of times here on, on these thumbnails. So that's good. What, what you're doing right here, you are definitely on the right track, um, with that on, on this last batch with the exception of this one. But this, the same idea applies. Like if somebody is watching one of your, one of your videos, one of your regular subscribers or somebody that's just landed on your, on your, on your video page, if they want to consume more of your content, you want to make it easy over here. Right, like this one's easy because you have the puppet in there. So that one, super easy to recognize that it's your content. Um, one thing that I also want to recommend too, if you're not doing it already, is try to make some of these, um, or actually all of them, if you can work it out into a series playlist. So because you, you're not coming up a lot here um, in the suggested, and I'm even looking for the name, which I normally don't do. But you're not coming up a lot here in your in your uh, suggested sidebar. So, so I would definitely make your playlists series playlists. In order to do that, you go into your playlist settings and you click a little checkbox that says "Make this an official, uh, make this part of an official series." So yeah, but what I was getting at with the thumbnails is basically when your when your stuff uh, comes up in the sidebar for people that are already into your content, you just want them to be able to say, "Hey, this is this is Jazzy Puppet stuff," and then go ahead and click it. You know what I mean? Because if it comes up and it and it doesn't look like your stuff, then and it's not recognizable as yours, then you're going to miss out on those clicks, those views, and that watch time. Another thing which I didn't look at. Hold on. Hi friends. Hi friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, let me look at a more recent video. Three weeks. We'll go into this one. What is going on, guys? Um, I see some people have joined. Some more people have joined in the stream. My name is Nick. If this is your first time here um, and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, including the live streams here like this where I go live to review channels and to answer your YouTube questions. Okay. Now, another thing, uh, Jazzy Puppet, is... Yeah, with you also, I would definitely add the auto-subscribe link down here into your video description. Um, what you're doing here with the playlist, that is excellent. Hold on, because it's... There we go. Yeah, what you're doing with your playlist here, um, that is excellent. Guys, if you're watching this right now, this is an excellent tactic right here to actually get more, more views and more watch time on your channel. When you add um, playlists to your video description, people click on those, they go in and they watch more of your videos. It, it, helps, it helps gain more views and it helps gain more watch time on your channel, which equals positive all the way around. So this is very smart what you're doing here. The only thing that I would add is your um, your auto subscribe link? Okay, next on the list, uh, true nightmares, and this one is actually a correction because I went to the wrong channel um, before when she when she uh, sent it. So I hope you are still on here. By the way, so on yours. True Nightmares, Video Weekly, Make Your Heart Stop. Same thing here. You know, you say True Nightmares, but I don't know if you are making, you know, like animated stuff. I don't know if you're doing book reviews. I don't know if you're talking about horror movies or whatever. So I would be specific about the type of content that you are making. Um, yeah, what you're doing with your playlist is good. Thank you for liking my video. I appreciate it. I don't even know if you're still on here, actually, because uh, you have this, and then you have two more, so I'm not sure if you're still on here or not, but hopefully you are. <coughs> Your fonts here, how you have these set up, these look cool, and they're easily recognizable as yours. 
Um, these not so much. They're they're recognizable as each other, but this isn't necessarily recognizable as part of this. So I would definitely try to sync this stuff up. Maybe same thing, just like Jazzy Puppet. You know, with your with your um, tune that you're using here, I would try to try to put that in all of your thumbnails so that people recognize that um, as yours. Yeah, you don't have a lot of stuff in here yet, but, you know, same thing goes, you know, like these, there's no association, there's zero connection whatsoever saying that these are associated in any way with this other stuff, so I would definitely make sure to to, to sync all of that stuff up so people recognize your content. Okay, this also, um, I would definitely fill this out for the sake of that hover that I was talking about earlier so that when people hover over your channel name and YouTube shows them that description of what your channel's about so that it doesn't say, welcome to my channel, I love scary and both real fictional. You want to you want to cater that to the type of content that you're making for your viewers so that when somebody reads that, they say, oh, that's the type of content they're making, that's the kind of stuff that I'm into. So that basically you word that in a way that that basically tells the people that you are targeting that your content is the type of content that they're looking for. Okay. David versus Norm, what is going on, man? Nice to see you in here. 48,000, man, you are rocking, my friend. Well done. Yeah, so you're you're obviously doing well. Um same thing with you though, man. Like I would put I would put in your channel header like you have this. Which is which is okay because it you know it, it it kind of you know creates some intrigue. But same with you, man. I would make it a little bit more specific about the actual type of content that it is that you create um, here, because um, I know you're making a lot of videos. You got like 42 videos just in this playlist alone. So having these playlists here down on the bottom is fantastic. But I would also add more playlists um, to your to your channel page as well. Yeah, because you have a ton of videos. Same thing goes with your thumbnails. You know, you, I would definitely add something, even if it's something small, because, you know, what you're doing is obviously working. People are into your content, but I would definitely add something small that makes it easy um, for them to connect your content to your content visually um, to your thumbnails. Because I'm sure, you know, you got 48,000 subscribers, so you're getting pushed all over home pages and stuff like that and all over recommended videos. So it's important that people can uh, can identify that it's your content without having to read, uh, you know, without having to hunt down your channel name on the on the uh, next to the thumbnail. Mm. Yeah, same thing here. Also, you know, with that hover, I would move this up just a tad like I, I would make this instead of I will be doing because you're past that now so I would say you know I make vlogs challenges pranks and all kinds of dumb stuff um and I would I would I would say my name is David I make vlogs challenges pranks and all types of done stuff and then say something about you know check out my videos for you know whatever so that that's what I would do there with your channel description too. Just I basically I would just tighten everything up just a tad. But I mean you're doing okay. So if you don't, it's not the end of the world. But tightening that stuff up might make a difference. All right. Okay, guys, that is it for me. Um, if you are in queue, I'm going to have to either do a makeup session or I'm going to have to add you to another stream. Um, if you did a super chat for the sake of a channel review, I'm going to take a note here. I got almost everybody. Um, I, I think I've got like three people in here. Two of them don't say anything about a channel review, so I'm not sure on those. But um, yeah, there, there's a few people that I'm not going to be able to get to because I'm already 49 minutes over what I originally planned, which happens on almost every live stream that I do because I enjoy um, being on the live stream, but real quick, I want to go ahead and give some shout outs for, you know, like Chiba gaming, for example, he's been hanging out in here pretty much the entire time. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Quinn in the clouds. Thank you so much for hanging out. You know, you're in here all the time. Razman's reality. You're in here all the time. Keepers of the books. You've been going in here also for, for a while now. So I, I appreciate you. And I, I thank you for hanging out. Uh, true nightmares. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, cause you're always in the streams also, Jazzy Puppet, thank you. AM Details, what is going on, my man? Yeah, I didn't even know that you were uh, that you were in here. You said later, so I guess that you are uh, you're already out of here. But uh, yeah, dude, nice to see you in here. 
Astro Focus, nice to see you in here also. You say, how many how many more videos do you think I need to upload before I see a difference in the average daily subscriber gain? Um, there isn't an exact formula, but here's what I can tell you. I've seen channels um, to where five videos have made a difference, and I've seen videos where it took 30 videos. On my personal channel, um, I had 15 videos took me from 300 subscribers a month to 2,500 subscribers a month. It took that was a that was a 15 mid, uh, video jump on my channel, um, but I've had client channels where it's been five videos, and I've had others where it's been 30 videos. So you know it it all depends on on your content, uh, where you're putting your content, how you're getting traffic to your videos, and things like that. So there isn't a definitive number. It does, there's there's no rule on YouTube. There's no rule on YouTube that says okay if if you make X amount of videos, then you're going to get promoted X amount. You're going to get promoted this much. Because if that was the case, then people would just put up whatever. It all comes down to your watch time. Make sure that your videos are optimized so that people are watching them for longer. And if they're if people are watching them for longer periods of time, you're getting a, a decent um, average view duration on them and you're stacking up the watch time, then, then it's good. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me. Thank you guys for stopping by so much. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys next time if you are not already subscribed and let's see here yeah if you are not already subscribed and you want to learn how to grow your channel make videos and all types of other youtube related stuff make sure that you go ahead and hit the round subscribe icon right now so you don't miss anything thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out in the stream i'll see you next time